My brother is now my boyfriend's girlfriend. As I sat on the stairs, fidgeting with the pleats of my violet skirt, I couldn't help but feel a mix of excitement and nervousness. Today, I was not Alex but Alexa, a persona I had created for my sister Amy Sake. With my long blonde hair, makeup, and high heels, I transformed into a stunning girl, ready to go on a date with Fred. Amy had just met Fred recently, and they had planned a dinner date. However, Amy couldn't attend because she was still with her boyfriend and hadn't broken up yet. So, here I was, stepping in to save the day as Alexa, going on the date with Fred. To be honest, I had never felt so feminine and beautiful before. The skirt, the cropped top, and the makeup made me feel more alive than ever. As I waited for Fred, my heart pounded with anticipation. I wondered if he would notice the slight nervousness hidden beneath my confident exterior. When Fred arrived, he seemed a bit surprised by my appearance, but he quickly complimented how beautiful I looked. It was both flattering and intimidating to hear him say that. Throughout the dinner, we laughed, talked, and found common interests. Unexpectedly, Fred started to show genuine interest in me, or rather, in Alexa. He was falling for the persona I had created. As days passed, Fred and I grew closer. We went on more dates, and I could see the genuine connection between us. I began to enjoy being Alexa, embracing my femininity and loving the process of dressing up and feeling beautiful. However, there was an internal struggle as well. I couldn't help but wonder if Fred truly loved me for who I was or just for the persona I had crafted. When the time came for Amy to meet Fred on their second date, things took an unexpected turn. Amy no longer liked him, there was no spark left between them. Meanwhile, Fred and I had become inseparable. It seemed like fate was pushing us together. As the days turned into weeks, Fred and I continued to grow closer, and our feelings deepened. But within me, there was a battle between Alexa and Alex, between embracing my newfound femininity and staying true to my original self. I found myself caught in a whirlwind of emotions, unsure of which path to follow. Eventually, I realized that being Alexa was not just about appeasing Amy or finding love with Fred. It was about embracing a part of me that I had suppressed for so long. I had discovered a passion for femininity, and it was an essential aspect of my identity. As Fred and I grew stronger as a couple, I decided to share my journey with him. To my surprise, he was incredibly supportive and understanding. He loved me, not just Alexa or Alex, but the person behind the makeup and clothes. With his acceptance, I felt freer than ever before. From that point on, Alexa became an integral part of my life. I continued to explore my feminine side, experimenting with fashion, and embracing the feeling of being stunning and cute. And through it all, Fred stood by my side, loving me for the person I had become. In the end, it wasn't just about becoming Fred's girlfriend, it was about finding myself and accepting all aspects of my identity. Alexa and Alex merged into one, and I became whole, thanks to the love and support of a boy named Fred. The End